imagine a world where your trusty four-wheeled companion suddenly decides to give you the silent treatment. You turn the key, you crank, and nothing. Your car refuses to budge, and that pesky check engine light gleams ominously from the dashboard. But fear not, because we've got your back. Ladies and gentlemen, gearheads and weekend warriors, brace yourselves for a ride that's bound to rev up your engines and ignite your curiosity. Today, we're back at Car Computer Exchange, your hub for all things automotive, to explore a topic that might just save you from those unexpected breakdowns. In this thrilling video from Car Computer Exchange, we're diving deep into the realm of crankshaft position sensor conundrums. Those mysterious fault codes like P0335, P0336, P0337, and P0338 leave even the most seasoned mechanics scratching their heads. You see, a working crankshaft position sensor is like the heartbeat of your vehicle. And when it gets awry, you ain't going anywhere in a hurry. Add crankshaft position sensor symptoms. Alright, let's kick things off by talking about the telltale signs that your crankshaft position sensor might be throwing a fit. Think of it as your car's way of saying, I'm not in the mood today. So, picture this. You're all set to hit the road, maybe for a spontaneous road trip or just your daily commute. You hop in, slip the key into the ignition, and turn it with all the excitement in the world. But instead of the sweet symphony of your engine roaring to life, you're greeted with silence. That's right, your beloved vehicle refuses to budge. It's like your trusty steed has suddenly turned into a stubborn mule. You can crank all day long, but if that crankshaft position sensor is acting up, you ain't going anywhere in a hurry. A faulty crankshaft position sensor can disrupt the engine's timing, preventing it from starting. It's frustrating to be left stranded. But luckily, this is a relatively common issue that can be fixed by replacing the sensor. Remember to have a trusted mechanic diagnose the problem to ensure an accurate solution. But that's not all, my friends. Your car's engine isn't just about starting and stopping. It's a finely tuned orchestra of moving parts. And when the crankshaft position sensor isn't playing its part, chaos can ensue. Misfires become the norm. Your one smooth idol now feels like you're shaking hands with a jackhammer. And worst of all, that pesky check engine light on your dashboard is throwing shade, as if to say, I told you so. Now, what's causing all this vehicular drama? Well, it could be a villainous timing trigger wheel a rebellious timing belt, some shady wiring business, a sensor with an attitude problem, or even your car's ECU joining the chaos. But fret not, because today, we're all about solving this puzzle. We're diving headfirst into the world of crankshaft position sensor troubleshooting. And by the end of this video, you'll be armed with the knowledge to diagnose and fix these issues like a pro. Crankshaft position sensor issues can cause a variety of symptoms such as engine misfires, stalling, or difficulty starting. By understanding how this sensor works and the common problems associated with it, you'll be able to confidently address any vehicle or drama that comes your way. So let's get started and unravel the mysteries of crankshaft position sensor troubleshooting. Alright folks, we've delved deep into the world of crankshaft position sensor troubleshooting. But now it's time for a quick pit stop and a little brain teaser. So. Here's a question to rev up those mental engines. If your car could talk, what do you think it would say when the crankshaft position sensor decides to misbehave? Would it be polite and patient? Or more of a get your act together, I've got places to be kind of car? Share your creative answers in the comments below, and let's see who can come up with the quirkiest, funniest, or most imaginative response. What does a crankshaft position sensor do? Before we start wielding diagnostic tools and diving into waveforms, let's get to know the unsung hero of this story, the crankshaft position sensor. This little wonder sits snugly near the timing trigger wheel, which, by the way, is attached to the crankshaft. You can think of it as the engine's beating heart, but what does it actually do? Well, imagine it as the engine's personal timekeeper. It counts the teeth on that timing trigger wheel, 
and whispers sweet nothings about the crankshaft's exact position during its rotation to the engine control unit, or ECU. The ECU then uses this information to precisely time the ignition and fuel injection, ensuring optimal engine performance. Without the crankshaft position sensor, the engine would be lost, unable to accurately determine when to fire the spark plugs and deliver fuel. Now, why is this important? Because the ECU, which is like the brain of your car, uses this juicy intel to choreograph the engine's dance, controlling the timing of combustion, spark plug firing, and all the other moves in the engine's intricate ballet. This precise coordination is crucial for maximizing fuel efficiency, reducing emissions, and maintaining overall engine health. The ECU relies on the crankshaft position sensor to detect any abnormalities or malfunctions in the engine's timing allowing for timely diagnostics and potential repairs. In simpler terms, the crankshaft position sensor is a bit like a conductor in an orchestra, ensuring that all the instruments, or in this case, engine parts, are perfectly synchronized. It's a vital piece of the puzzle when it comes to your car's performance. How to test a crankshaft position sensor with an oscilloscope? Now, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of testing this sensor. Imagine you're an automotive detective, and your trusty magnifying glass is an oscilloscope. We're on the hunt for clues, waveform clues to be precise. First things first, you need to know what the expected waveform should look like. It's like recognizing your favorite song from the first note. So, hook up your oscilloscope to the sensor and get ready for some action. We're talking about clean peaks and troughs, no noise, and certainly no missing waveforms. Any deviations from this perfect pattern? Well, that's our suspect. Analyzing the waveform will help us identify any irregularities or abnormalities that could lead us to our culprit. It's crucial to pay attention to the amplitude, frequency, and shape of the waveform, as they can provide valuable information about the source of the problem. Let's dive in and start our investigation by carefully examining each waveform we encounter. This is where it gets fascinating. A clean and consistent waveform is a sign that your crankshaft position sensor is doing its job properly. It's singing in harmony with the timing trigger wheel, and the ECU is tapping its metaphorical foot in time. However, if we observe irregularities in the waveform, such as spikes, noise, or distortion, it could indicate potential issues with the sensor or its connection. These abnormalities can disrupt timing synchronization, and lead to engine performance problems. Therefore, analyzing and interpreting waveform characteristics is crucial for effectively diagnosing and resolving any underlying problems. But if you start seeing abnormalities in that waveform, like spikes, noise, or missing segments, that's when you know something's amiss. These deviations could indicate issues with the sensor itself or problems in the sensor circuit. And that, my friends, is where our diagnostic adventure begins. And there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the twists and turns of crankshaft position sensor troubleshooting, decoded fault codes, and even played detective with wiring. But our automotive adventure doesn't end here. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the engine's inner workings and want to stay in the driver's seat when it comes to car know-how, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release more videos packed with automotive insights, DIY tips, and maybe even a few more witty analogies. So, join our growing community of car enthusiasts, because as we always say at Car Computer Exchange, knowledge is horsepower, and we're here to fuel your passion for all things automotive. Subscribe now, and let's keep those engines of curiosity running.